How's it going guys? I am Money here and as promised I just started to die for Army in Elite. So it is live and it is active. Um, I want to let you guys know a little bit about it. This gameplay, actually let me talk about the gameplay because it's very very fucking random. It's on my No Mercy Overlords account. I am sniping. It's very boring. So if you like you can go ahead and close your eyes and just listen to the words coming out of my mouth. I actually just picked a very random gameplay and I knew this one lasted quite a while. But for those of you who do care, I do go 40 and 1. And the only cool thing about this freaking Moab is that this is the game, one of the games where I met crazy. And my only death comes by way of crazy. And the reason I remember her so distinctly is because when she killed me, she said, I got your ass now. And then that was all I heard. And every time you kill her, she giggles. But she was on a fucking mission to kill me. And when she does kill me, you'll see that I'm pulling out a Predator missile. And I'm like, fuck, they got me. I was trying to go for a flawless. And I am camping because this is what I do. And also, this is how I maintain a 5.0 KDR on this account. But other than that, let me get into the clan. For those of you that have been waiting and dying to get into the clan, to die for army is active, like I said. What we did discuss with the clan was, I think we are going to change our clan name to the Die For Elite. This was just primarily within the clan. Jay Broski hasn't been on. He's been very, very busy grinding his little heart away with school and all that other good stuff and work. So he's a grinder. But amongst the clan, I guess they do like the name to Die For Elite for our clan and then to Die For Army. I happen to like that name, but this is what I'm going to do because I am only the overseer for the clan. I'm going to let you guys decide what you guys want the name to be. So it'll have to be have to die for in it. And then if you guys want to be like fucking to die for Transformers or whatever. Whatever you guys like and choose. You guys can talk amongst yourselves. The only thing I do have set up so far is the co-leaders. I'm considering having three co-leaders. But right now I have two. Vengeful Fiend and Armanda. And basically I'm going to go over just some ground rules. And let you guys know about the clan itself. And what you guys are going to need to, you know, maintain yourself in this clan. Um, as far as KDR minimums, I talked to Jay and he wants to have a 1.0 KDR minimum. And then I also talked to Vengeful Fiend and he's going to, he wants a 1.20. So since he's a co-leader and I haven't got a chance to talk to Armanda yet, I actually just got home. I, for right now, I'm going to institute a 1.20. And that's only because... We actually have a lot more people interested in the clan than I suspected to be interested in the clan. So, to give those guys a good roster and give them, you know, a fighting chance to be freaking known and get all their stuff together, I'm going to institute a 1.20 and I may drop it to a 1.0. Um, at the very minimum, it is going to be at least a 1.0. So, let me go over some of the ground rules and this is just the bare minimum and then I'll get into some other stuff that's clan related. Bare minimum, no death streaks. That means no death streaks that you can kill people with. No last stand, no martyrdom, no dead man's hand, none of that stuff. Um, no tubes, no smalls. Like I said, you can use attack insert. Um, I don't really think you'll need it, but you can use attack insert. Like I said, it's kind of frowned upon, but it depends on how you're utilizing your attack. That's going to you know, determine if you're camping or whatnot. And when I get with the clan and get everything situated, I'm going to tell you the difference between camping and you know, spawn control and all that good stuff. And we want to be able to maintain a good clan name. So here are some, this is basically five things that I've come across that are just off the top of my head in terms of the clan. Don't yell or complain at teammates. That is one of my biggest pet peeves in the world. Um, do not yell at your teammates. I understand teammates do crazy things sometimes and they may get you killed. It doesn't matter if you get killed off a of Moab streak or not. Do not ever yell at teammates because you need good team morale. You don't want to be that guy that no one wants to play with, so keep that in mind. Um, like I said, that is literally my biggest pet peeve when it comes to Call of Duty and being in a party or playing with a team. Never, ever yell at your teammates. Next, uh, I'm not in the clan. I oversee it. For issues, speak to the clan leaders. Right now, that's Ventral Fiend and Armanda. I will not overshadow them um, because it's your clan, not mine. So work together. If you guys have disputes, work among yourselves. If I need to intervene, and basically, I'm just going to take the word of the uh, the, the co-leaders, um, and I'm going to work from there. Number three, one warning will be given for any clan kicking offense. Remember, you represent a clan. It's bigger than you. Opponents camp in a tube. We understand that. But you need to find ways to work as a team and win. Don't result to their tactics. We are a gun game clan. That goes for to die for elite. 
and to die for army. You guys are basically held to the same standards. And the reason you guys are held to those same standards is because if you want to improve and get better uh, and be a top-notch clan like uh, we are and a lot of people feel we are, you're going to have to play by the same rules and, you know, get through the freaking adversity of people camping and tubing and be able to do good and win games. Um, number four, everyone plays different. Just like you need to re recall your opponent's playing styles, you need to know your teammates' playing styles. Get familiar with everyone. Basically, that means... Know your players' routes, know your teammates' routes, get familiar with every. It doesn't matter if there's 40 people in the clan or 100, or if there's only 7. You need to basically get familiar with how everyone's going to play and know their routes. And basically, when you have your opening routes, don't bump each other and get mad when you know you kill each other. Because it's going to take a while for you guys to get familiar with each other and realize how everyone plays. And number 5, keep in mind you represent a clan, even when you're solo. I can't stress that enough. Make the community envy you, and when people start calling you hackers, that's, that's when you know you've made it. So, on the last thing, even when you play solo, you represent a clan. Don't troll other clans. Don't outwittingly, like, outwillingly go out and talk shit to other clans. If people talk shit to you, then I understand you're going to talk shit back. Um, but don't go out of your way to start shit with people. Um, that's not what we're about, and technically you can't go about that until you become a winning fucking team. So let me stress that enough. You do represent for to die for, um, and you guys are just starting off, so do big things, man. I, I expect a lot out of you guys, and we're going to help you guys grow together and fucking become a fucking championship caliber clan. So I've already got the clan launched. Everything's already uh, ready, set to go. I'm actually going to get on my um, account that's registered for that clan and knock out your guys' first clan challenge, which is going to be most special uh, streaks used, and you're going to have another one. I'll be on every day. Not to, you know, be in your business, but I'll be on every day to register for um, Clan Ops. And anything that'll get you guys Clan XP. And when I have the time, I'll go ahead and partake in those and try to get you guys situated. So that's all for right now. I'll catch you guys next time. If you have any questions or you want to apply for the clan, I'll leave all that information in the description and in the video itself. Let's get this shit rolling. And I'll drop you guys another video later for those of you who didn't find this video entertaining and are interested in To Die For Army. I'll drop you guys a, a live assault fail Moab later on. And Taz drops some Moab in that gameplay. So I'll catch you guys next time. And crazy, look how far we've come. Look at that. Now we're like best of fucking buddies. So um, that's all right now, guys. Freaking big things for the clan. Catch you guys next time. I am money out.